Thank you. So, a few words about our venue. Some of you, when you came, you arrived tonight, you might have thought, where the heck am I? Well, this is the Brewster Wheeler Rec Center. You heard the mayor speak outside at the cocktail party. This is where Joe Lewis trained to box, and this is where he had his first fight in the basement. Uh, the Harlem Globetrotters had played their first road game in this room in 1932. Uh, so this was the rec center for largely the African American community living around in the neighborhoods around this center. As the mayor said, it closed. It closed in 2006. But if you talk to Cody, the bartender tonight, you'll find out that he used to sneak in with his buddies after it was closed and still played basketball in this very room. So, so it was slated for, for a demolition, uh, but, and uh, if truth be told, we don't have a lot of electricity in this room, so when the light goes, make sure that your phone is on airplane no mode now because you're gonna need that flashlight app to get out of here later. So, but, but we, we chose this place for a lot of reasons, but partly because this is what homecoming's about. It's reimagining, it's reinventing, it's rebuilding. And as the mayor said, Casey Crane and his restaurant per partner, Kirk Catalo, are gonna bring new life to this space as a restaurant. But there is a lot of room in this complex. And uh, I wanna first thank Ryan Maybach of Barton Mallow, because if you would have seen this place, a few weeks ago, before Barton Mallow Construction started putting in the floor, cleaning this place up, getting the dead squirrels out. Um, and then we got it in shape for tonight's dinner, and I have to thank the mayor again for giving us the permit to open tonight. But there's a lot of space here, and in a moment, Jason is going to tell you about one of the projects that's going to be part of bringing the community back into this space. There's a, going to be a culinary arts training program with the nonprofit Alternatives for Girls. The Detroit Chess Club will have its headquarters here. They play at the DIA a lot on Friday nights, but their headquarters is going to be here. And next, I want to introduce Jason Hall, who is the co-founder of The Slow Roll, and he's going to tell you a little bit about the slow roll phenomenon and uh, what they're going to do here. Jason? First off, I'd like to apologize to anybody who's been caught in traffic uh, by slow roll. Actually, I'm not sorry, just get a bike. That's how we live on that one. Uh, I got a call from Kurt, and you know, maybe a couple years ago, he called me and he said, hey, Jason, um, I really like what you're doing with slow roll, and I wanna help you as much as I can. And I said, well, you know, I, I, I don't know how, I mean, I love your mac and cheese, so I could eat that up for the rest of my life. That would help me out, because that would save me some bucks on food. But I don't know, another way you could help me out, and he said, well, we have this idea that we're gonna work with the Brewster Wheeler, and, uh, Wheeler Recreation Center and try to obtain that and give you guys office space in that. Now, I've had like crazy calls over the last, you know, three to five years through everything that we've done, but I never had really somebody step up and give me something like this. Um, it took me a good probably half a day to really soak into the, the history of what we had the ability to connect to and what slow roll is to me and to a lot of people in the city of Detroit. And so when we had the opportunity to have office space in this building, one of the places that is, there's nothing more with Detroit in its DNA or its heart or its passion than this building. And to bring slow roll together with that another entity, which I feel is the same, was an amazing thing. So I can't even thank Kurt and Casey enough, but yeah, this will be the future world headquarters of slow roll Detroit. And what's cool about that, what's cool about that is, you know, when we started this bike ride, we didn't start this thing for it to be this massive world movement. We started it just to re reattach people from the city of Detroit to the city itself and show it, them that it was a place that they could live. Um, and through its evolution now, we have, I've met people from all over the world who've moved here, or come here to be a part of this movement that we've started in Detroit. And just like the evolution of the ride, which it started out as a bike ride, and now it's 
we give 1,000 backpacks to kids. We give $5,000 to the American Heart Association. It turns into these things, but now it turns into the ability for us to do programming for kids in a different way. And my goal is to have Detroit have the best Olympic bicycle team ever. So through this project, hopefully we can connect and bring kids from the inner cities and have them reattach to what Detroit is, one of the original bicycle cities. Thank you. So Jason, you, you started and said you apologize for people who might have gotten stuck in traffic. How many bicyclists might you have on a typical night? <laughs> you know, um, we, we, we say thousands these days because the, the entities don't like us to give numbers, but we bring, oh, I'll say it. The police said we had 10,000 people a couple of weeks ago, and that's 10,000 people on a Monday night in the city of Detroit. And I was just telling them, you know, people, I haven't paid for a meal in Detroit because we spend so much money in the city that we don't, I don't have to. <laughs> He's eating for free for life. Okay, take note, Casey and Kurt. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thanks. That's just one of the remarkable grassroots things that are happening all over the city. I want to just add a couple of quick thank yous and then we'll get on with um, the program. Uh, first, I want to thank, we, this is an invitation only event, so it's a lot of people would love to be here, and that's why we thank so much Channel 7, WXYZ TV, and Mike Murray and his team. They're live streaming everything at homecoming throughout the next two and a half days. Um, WJR will be on site tomorrow morning and broadcast live. And of course, the Downtown Detroit Partnership, you're gonna hear from Eric Larson in a couple of minutes. We could not do this event without their help and support and partnership. So thank you very much, and now we're gonna continue the program. <laughs>